Hey everyone, great news. I passed the AZ-104 on, it was this past Friday that I passed it. I will say that that exam is very hard. You have to know, it's basically a lot of information. And so while you're studying, you don't know what they're gonna ask. And then on top of that, it just covers a lot. I even heard that this exam is probably harder than the one that comes after it, which is the, the architect level, which is AZ-305. I heard that this exam is very, is harder than that. And after you take this exam, you should just go ahead and just schedule for 305. That's how hard this, this AZ-104 is. I've taken the PMP and the Security Plus, which are hard and they're very hard tests as well. And I passed the first time. So I was definitely in my, when I failed this exam in December, I was in my feelings and I will tell you all, don't ever do that. Like don't ever feel so defeated that you just keep pushing this exam off. Like any exam that you take, schedule it right away. I should have done that. And so at that point I got a 661, I believe. And I felt so, oh my God, it was the first time I ever failed an exam that I just did not take it again. And it wasn't until like, I had some enlightening moment that happened in March that I finally was like, no, you need to take that exam again. I scheduled it and I took it and guess what? I failed. But the thing that I did at that point was I didn't do what I did this, the last time, I scheduled it right away. So the way it works with the, with maybe it's all Microsoft exams is you can re, if it was the first time you took that exam, you can schedule it right away and take it the second time. If you fail a second time and then after that, you have to wait two weeks to retake it. And then you have six times to take it. And if you don't, then you have to wait a year. I scheduled it right away and retook it this Friday and I passed. Definitely don't do that. Don't just procrastinate and hold off because then what happens is, A, you forget the exam structure. You forget what the exam looked like. And then two, if you're not studying during the that time, you're going to forget what you, you you studied. So don't do that. That is my number one tip. The second tip that I will say is for this exam is use a bunch of materials. Don't just rely on one. I felt taking this exam that um, MS Learn, if you look, okay, so MS Learn is, is, is huge. It has everything you need. But then they also have like the dedicated pass for the each of the certifications. I will say that that is so basic. It does not cover, I will say like 70% of what's probably on that exam. So just use that as the foundation and then build on top of that. I used MS Learn, Seville um, on YouTube. I'll link, link his stuff below, which, which is great. Um, a cloud guru because I have a subscription with them. Um, notebook LM, which I did a video on. And then as well, I feel like I'm missing one. I use chat GPT and oh my God, I can't think of what else I used. I think that was it. And then I basically like went over the, especially, especially like the, the areas that I was like very weak on, which was like app service, containers, and networking. I went and just went over them over and over again. The other thing that I will say to you is get the hands-on experience. Believe Azure gives you credits. And then if you're a student, you also get discounts and stuff like that. But even, let's say you um, deplete all that just pay, just pay what you need to pay. The one thing is of course, like always shut everything off, like deallocate the VMs and so forth. Cause VMs, I believe are probably like the most expensive. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's one of the most expensive. So just go ahead and do the activity. So a, so Microsoft has AZ labs that you can do. Definitely do those do the applied skills. I feel like applied skills. I'm so glad they added that. I, they are great. Yeah. It, the, the structure, like the format sucks. Like it's a little tiny screen. Uh, believe me, it's annoying having to do it, but you just learn so much and you just apply everything that will be on the AZ 104. 
after I did projects, like I did a little Minecraft server on the VM. I also did um, like a Notion API integration on with the form on Azure using app service. And then I also did like a container. I'm gonna tell you, when I sat there and took the the practice exams and also the the you know the the actual exam, I knew the stuff because I'd actually applied it. Definitely do your projects. Do not just rely on reading because you're not going to learn, especially for like exams after the 900. You need to apply what you're learning. So get in there, create your own Azure account. ACOG Guru also has a, a, like their own like, um, what do they call it? I think they call it like playground basically, like like sandboxes. The only thing that sucks about that is that they it's there's a lot of restrictions on them. Like you can't create, I couldn't create VMs and there's probably other restrictions as well. So it is good to have your own personal Azure environment, but get in there and do the labs. Start with the labs and then create your own projects. Just put it into one of the like ChatGPT, Claude or whatever you're using and, and ask them and they'll create like a bunch of ideas for you. That's what I did. I put it in ChatGPT and was like, I want to do this. And ChatGPT was like, you can do this and you can like, you could do this project, you could do that project. And that is how I got some of the project ideas that I have, that I got. The, um, so that is one thing. The, the one thing I learned from other exams I've taken is the night before, do not study. You got to relax your brain. So don't study. The only thing that you can probably do the night before is like do like a, a, an exam dump, which is basically like a dump of information to make sure you know everything. I learned that in one of the book, like I believe it was the PMP boot camp that I took. The instructor said, do like an exam dump the night before. And then the other thing too is like the day of the exam, before you even start the exam, do the dump. So you like the time, like, you know, when you start the, the, the clock, put do like an exam dump of everything. So because that actually helps because then you can use that as a reference. So that is the only thing you should be doing the night before. Other than that, relax your brain. Like I played Minecraft and then I found out that Hogwarts Legacy was on the PS Plus for free. I played that for a bit. Went to bed at a reasonable time, rested, didn't do anything the day before, the next day, except quickly look, reviewed my exam dump that I did the night before. And then I went and took the exam and that helped tremendously. Don't, because your brain will be fried if you try to like study, study, study and cram the night before. Just don't, just don't do it. Um, let me see what other, um, tips I have. Um, the other thing that I will say is that after you pass the exam, especially if you're trying to go into a career of cloud, just don't wait to keep learning. Microsoft right now has the like a, a, an AI skills fest. If you don't know, I'll put the link below. But AI, like my company is going towards AI. I think maybe majority of companies are. So I decided to start doing the AI skills fest. Um, you get like free vouchers um, to take certifications and things like that. I feel like after doing this, what I love was DevOps. Like, I don't know why I love like setting up the, the, the GitHub actions and working in GitHub and stuff like that. So I think that that's where I'm leaning towards like me moving in that direction. Um, probably like, I'll see how the AI works, but just don't stop. Continue learning, continue doing projects, set up your GitHub. I'm so glad I did that. Even if no one's looking at your GitHub, at least you set it up. It's good for like appealing to like potential employers. Uh, definitely set that up. Also like it's good for like meeting other people who are doing the same thing, but just don't give up. I think that that's the main thing. I will say majority of people do fail this exam. I'm on Reddit all the time and I see people being like, I failed, I failed. And then there are people that are like, I failed and then I passed. So just don't give up and you will pass the exam. So just wanted to give uh, some tips on what I found out while taking this crazy exam and studying for it and hope it helps you. But I will talk to everyone soon and have a good day.